somebody's thinking about recording instead of thinking about actually doing things. Oh, look at this bike. <coughs> that is dirty. This is what happens when it rains. Poor monster. I actually hate riding it like this. Not because I mind the dirt, just because I want it to be all nice and pretty. I take care of my monster. I wash it like once a week. Um, anyway, I would wash it, but as pleasant as it looks right now, we got Tropical Storm Bill or whatever. Road debris! Um, Tropical Storm Bill rolling in. So, it's supposed to rain a lot more. Trying out a new mounting position, see how I like it. I'm also trying out video tagging. Um, I have it set to one minute, and the one thing I'm not crazy about is it doesn't give you a whole lot of warning on when it's going to stop. Whoa! Although, theoretically, I suppose if you miss it, you have another minute to press the button. And I'm not sure if it'll combine the clips, or if it'll just create a new one with a little bit of overlapped footage. Uh, that'd be interesting to see. I need to test it. As with anything, you get better as you go. See if I can find neutral. Nailed it. It's just difficult enough on this bike that every time you hit neutral, it's still an accomplishment. Shifted into neutral a thousand times and it still gives me trouble. I wish these LEDs were just a little bit brighter. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, feels so good. Especially when you know it's been crappy rainy weather and it's going to be crappy rainy weather again. It's really nice. It's just cool breeze. How hot is it? 80 degrees? It feels less than 80 degrees. But yeah, nice breezy. It almost feels like ocean. Like Florida. I think I'm going to do a test video with the drift. Uh, talking about all the different commands. If for no other reason than to figure all of them out myself. I just discovered that if you're not recording, if you hit this little stop button, It'll switch between the different modes. Um, no! My helmet is locked! There we go. Um, that Triumph has two extra wheels! It's probably not bigger than some Goldwings. Alright, bro! Thank you. Oh. <laughs> How's it going? Okay. How's it going? <laughs> I was I was just saying, I was like, I have a friend that has a car just like that. 
see it? So that was Connor. Uh, I used to work with him, and I'm pretty sure he has no idea who I am. <laughs> yeah, we worked together at U-Ship on the uh, Team Man Basket. Uh, that is a long story for another day, but we were pretty notorious. That's so funny. I wasn't planning on recording today, so that is why video tagging rocks. If I'm trying to go for a one cut clip, I'll just put it in record and record all the way through, but if you got video tagging, never know what's going to happen. That's so funny, I was making fun of his car. So how are things at U ship? What's that? How are things at U ship? U ship? Yeah. Are you good, man? Are you uh Joe I'm Nathan! Dr. Jones! Yeah, <laughs> I figured you didn't recognize me. Good. Yeah. So, uh, my other one got run over in a in a parking lot, and so I got a new one. And this is the dirtiest it's ever been. Connor was very friendly to some stranger who uh, seemed interested in his car. I need like an I am Dr. Jones sticker somewhere that people recognize me. <laughs> it's like, how'd you know I worked at U ship? Oh, fun times. Well, I was worried about being late for work, but. Now I'm in a good mood, and I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Really? Uh, you sure are friendly to some random guy who pulls up to your car. <laughs> it's because it's a triumph. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was good. Working with Andy now. Yeah. That's funny. I bet he does have a lot of people coming up to him on motorcycles. They're like, hey, it's a triumph. I don't feel like exactly what I did. I don't know if I said it, but the thought crossed my mind right before I pulled up, and I was like, I know somebody with that car. As soon as I saw that it was a TR6, I knew that's what Connor had. Um, I think he got that thing about nine months ago. Oh, Connor. <laughs> that thing is so funny.
nothing like a good motorcycle ride to turn a boring morning into a great one. See, now I'm almost to work and I'm in a fantastic mood. Around here, you never know who's gonna try to run over you. That was nuts. I'm not usually looking out for oncoming traffic on a one-way road. 